he has slept like a babe straight through the night, dreamless, thoughtless, and almost entirely free. For the first time, you feel alone, calm. You breathe. Baal may have been your beginning, but he will not be your end. Of all those you killed in your father's name, one lingers in your mind even now. Alfira, the bard of the Emerald Grove. Her death weighs upon you still. A burden you will carry for the rest of your days. But fortunately, you will not have to carry it alone. Curious. After all the wonders and monstrosities we've witnessed, waking beside you seems more unreal than any of it. I've forgotten what it felt like to greet a sunrise without fear of it being my last. Soon, I'll deliver the crown to Mistra and be rid of the orb at long last. I'll be free. Oh, him. Huh. I've been thinking a lot about that. Gale of Waterdeep. Sounds a bit... pompous, don't you think? I thought I might take this opportunity to reinvent myself, or uninvent myself, to be more accurate. You're now in the company of plain old Gale Decarius, a most brilliant wizard of intentionally limited renown. At your service. Now, I believe this is the moment where I should get to my point, so to speak. I love you. More than I've ever loved anyone, mortal or... That being said, I wondered if you might consider accompanying me back to Waterdeep as a new member of the Dakarius clan. Then I go where you go. Waterdeep wouldn't be home without you anyway. We'll need to make the arrangements, of course. The Dakarius clan is scattered far and wide, and you'll have invites of your own to send out, I'm sure. <sighs> but that's all to come. The day is young, and there are thousands more days ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs>